Hey YouTube, what is up? How is everybody doing today? I hope your days are going good and your lives are going even better than that. I've been trying to get my lighting to up a little bit better. I think I still need to tweak it a little bit, man, but I'm getting there slowly. Either way, we're going to be jumping into the Agonist with the song called Remnants in Time. It's just the latest release that they released about a week ago, round about something like that. I've heard it once or twice i've never seen the video and i've never really listened to it to analyze it so this is basically going to be like a blind breakdown basically that's how i'm kind of going about it like most of the things that i do when i break things down i do it from the top of my head regardless but it's even more interesting to do it to a song you're not as familiar with so it's going to be a challenge of like like if i can break shit down like on the spot and we'll see if i can if i can't it's going to be shit video either way let's jump into the ship. Before that even starts, we're going to start with, I haven't listened to the Agnes since Alyssa's era, basically. I haven't heard the new vocalist at all since that point. So this is going to be my first time really analysing and hearing the new vocalist's voice to see how they compare to Alyssa, because Alyssa's era was amazing. Alyssa going into Arch Henry was kind of a down on her specifically. I much preferred it in the, in the Agnes rather than in Arch Enemy. Like, doing pure growls didn't really suit Alyssa as much, in my opinion. But we're going to see how they are improving and how they are evolving their sound and so far. They sound more brutal, they sound more technical, and they sound like they're just having a blast just playing their music. And that's exactly what you want from a band, to see them grow, to see them. Even if they do lose a member to a different band, they can still come back and make something brutal and powerful and technical and so far. It's like hitting all the points, going from that beautiful piano melody into that heavy, like, blast beasted um, track. Either way, let's keep going. What is the cost? The ultimate price you would pay. Let the wonders unravel before you. For a moment before they secure. In a second before the wheel ends. The twist and turn to grace in your eyes. What thrills would you bend? What flesh would you spend? For one more day in this life. Whoa, man, that was a drop and a half. Either way, um... We're just going to jump straight into the lyrics, man. What is the cost, the ultimate price you would pay as the wonders unravel before you for a moment before they decay? So what would you pay for your life? What would you give to survive? What would you put into the world in order for you to stay within it, to not pass away, to not disintegrate before it? In that second before the wheel ends, the twists that and turns engraved in your eyes, what rules would you bend? What flesh would you spend for one more day in this life? Exactly what, who would you kill? What would you do? Who would you rob? Who would you steal from? What would you like literally do in order to stay within this world? What would you do to survive? Would you kill people? Would you do mass murders? Would you become a terrorist? Would you steal from banks? Would you do whatever the fuck you had to do? Or would you just not bend anything and just end up dying regardless? Either way, let's keep going. And one flash would you spend for one more day in this life?
I so love the like makeup change. The makeup change is so sick in that video. Um, her deeps are amazing, man. Those deeps are sick. Like they're way deeper than Alyssa could ever go, and it just seems like they have a vocalist that is much better at what she does. And she's literally just improving the band and showing that when the band goes heavy and heavy and heavier, her her deeps and her vocals are just going with it, and it's just really amazing, especially with the with the costume and the makeup and everything else. That is just making it seem very, very much more demonic in that essence, just for that kind of added trait to the video that just like gives you that visual effect to what the band is doing while they're playing and like dropping their sound even more. And either way, man, like. We're just going to go straight back into Lewis again. I took your time away and you will never find it. When the day is done, you will see no tomorrow. Your life is mine to sell and you can never buy it. When the night is done, you will never be. Exactly like she's... This song is basically that person who... Think of it like a Grim Reaper, like a demon, like Lucifer giving favour. Something like that. Where they take your time away and... They can make it so that you will never have it back and that you will literally see no tomorrow and you will never be able to do anything else. As they can sell your life as if it never existed. Think of somebody like somebody in a very high position of power, like a high power drug dealer who can just end your life in an instant or to do it from a more supernatural sense of like demons and Lucifer and that type of thing where they can literally bargain with your life like it doesn't even matter and so on. Either way. <laughs> Before we go into the solo, the only thing that I'm missing is some cleans. I'm pretty sure there's cleans in this song, but so far the growls are on point. They're much, much stronger than Lester's ever were when she, was in, when she was in the Agonist. Even with all the vocal training that she's had within Arch Enemy, she's still nowhere to this level. Like, I love Alyssa's vocals in so many ways, but she's more a recording rather than a live artist. Her growls live just don't really appeal to me. You can just hear them fall off. And that's just not a real thing that you really want to hear. Recording, Alyssa is alright. She's not to this level, but she's still a decent vocalist. But when she has a lot of editing, say when she was mixed into the Carn Effect song, she sounded amazing. So it depends on editing and band and that type of thing. Either way, we're going to jump straight into this. Um, I was a fool that hoped one day to be wise. When the trade appeared right before my eyes. How could I know? How could I see? Look beyond what's in front of me. When the lies tell this beautiful tale of what lies beneath the veil, I swam so far just to drown, sirens calling all around, weathered hands to reach the sound near the edge, my death is found. So like I said, it's more like taking a deal from a demon, from Lucifer, from something like that, and not knowing what could happen, not seeing what could happen, having to swim within a lake of souls more like the more like Hades where you have to swim through like a literal river of souls that saps all of your energy and condemns you to that pit basically and the moment that you reach the shore you realize that your death is already done it's imminent it's gone and your life is literally destroyed either way it's <laughs>
Your life is mine to sell, and you can never buy it. When the night is done, you'll be. That was so fucking good, man. Um, the only the only thing that I can think of from early Agnes to compare this to would be her eulogy, "Sang Me to Sleep," I think it's called. Where it was like it was a very heavy, screamed, growled song, and it was so light compared to, to this song. To see the way that they've evolved, the way that they've grown, the way that they've improved their sounds to make everything just become much darker and heavier and lyrically it's very very well written i think it's probably one of the most well written agnes songs i've seen in a very long time like i said i've never seen this vocalist up until this point i've never bothered going back into it because i wasn't sure about the change like i wasn't sure how or where they would go after lesser and honestly i'm so very glad that i did because this was amazing but we just go over the last bits of the lyrics um i swam so far just to drown just to drown in shallow waters and i feel life slowly escape me when can i breathe when can i breathe like it's the image of her giving her life to that point where she drowns and dies but also where she becomes something that can just take your life from you as it goes back straight into that darkness that into that i took your time away and you will never find it when the day is done you will see no tomorrow and it's just that kind of element going between both of the of the elements of the story that just show the lighter to darker and the, the cinematography within the video just shows perfectly when she's normal growled like normal average growl for her she's make up to normal when she's very very deep she's very demonic and broken looking in the skin and when she's very very clean she has that very innocent no makeup and it just shows all the different styles showing the innocence to demonic just perfectly within that video and it just kind of emanates everything especially with the way it ended with the piano and just broke it all down perfectly as the piano got deeper and deeper and more echoey and it just kind of gave that foreboding element which is amazing i thoroughly enjoyed it i thoroughly thoroughly loved this the guitar ring was on point i loved all the little technical elements they were throwing into it the drumming was on point the blast beats were amazing just the way that they could throw so many different kinds of elements into the song they could throw so many drops so many turns and twists and so many different vocal styles into it and make it work so perfectly and honestly like if this is what the agonist are turning into i really really want to hear more from them because they sound amazing right now either i need to wait for more songs and the new album from them to release at some point i don't remember remember exactly when it was but either way Boy, that was a lot of talking i hope you guys enjoyed man have a wonderful wonderful day evening or night and i will catch you guys in the very next video until then take it easy